Uh, well, listen to this. Pfizer now says its experimental antiviral COVID pill, the pill, will cut hospitalizations and deaths by nearly 90%. So Pfizer announced that just a couple minutes ago. Pfizer says it will ask the FDA for authorization as soon as possible. And you already know that Merck uh, already has a COVID-19 pill that's being used and already distributed in the United Kingdom, but not yet here in the uh, United States. They're still waiting for authorization, okay? You know what OSHA is? Uh, the government agency whose mission is to protect the American worker and has issued a COVID-19 vaccine mandate yesterday that goes into effect on January the 4th. That'll be here before you know it. There are many opinions on both sides of the aisle on this. If we do have a mandate, and I'm thinking now of the mandate for private companies, if we do have a mandate, uh, will it save lives? We know that vaccines absolutely save lives. And we know that mandates work. So if you take the fact that mandates work and vaccines absolutely save lives, the answer to your question is yes, it does save lives. And in order to push this socialist agenda, this government control of health care, what do they do? A one size fits all vaccine mandate. Okay, so let's try to keep the politics out of this and talk to an attorney here, Amy Feldman. Amy, good to see you. Thank you. Um, so let's just go with facts. Now, OSHA, I always thought, would, you know, they'd come in here and try to prevent a light from falling on me. Keep right. me safe. Right. OSHA wants us to do this? Yeah. Uh, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration actually spends a lot of time in these regulations, all 490 <laughs> blissful pages mm -hmm. of what they call the emergency temporary standards, trying to figure out how to convince people that they have the authority to tell every company with 100 or more employees that they have to require people to be vaccinated. Can you imagine how many people, well, that's just a bunch of words, uh, how many people watching the show right now work for a company that has 100 employees. Well, well you're sitting in a building like, oh, we have 100 employees. Oh, absolutely. In fact, what the government says is 70% of the private companies in the United States will be covered by these Dang. regulations. It's a lot. 84 million? Yeah, that's exactly right. And in fact, the people who aren't covered are largely covered by other requirements, like there are those who are federal contractors. They have their own regulations. Okay, so, so I'm working for a company. We have 100 yeah. employees. Right. I don't want to put that in my body. Yeah. What alternative do I have? Well, so companies create these policies that say either you have to be vaccinated or you have to be tested weekly. There are a few exceptions to that, but they are not making it easy on the worker to say no to this because they specifically say that if you choose not to be vaccinated without an exemption and, and other yeah. ways to accommodate you, you have to get tested weekly and the employer doesn't have to pay for it. Oh, do, 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 do I get time off? To uh, yes, get it? yes, you do get time off. You get four hours off to get the vaccine, and the employer has to pay for reasonable sick time. Although, if a company already has a sick time policy, you're allowed to what use that. What about medical and religious exemptions? Okay, so those are narrow, right? They're for a very medical narrow. exemption, you need a doctor's note, and it needs to be specific to the reason, like a clotting disorder or an allergy. As for religious exemptions, even those are more narrow than people think because you have to be earnestly. Uh, a member of a particular brand of, uh, of faith that says that you believe that these are somehow against your religion, you have to, in some cases, it's okay for the employer to push back and say, really, have you gotten other vaccines before? Why is this one different? And it specifically says, the EEOC has said it can't be for political reasons, social reasons, okay, or economic okay. reasons. Let's say I own the company. Can yeah. I bribe an employee to get it? Yes. I'll give you some extra money. Yes, there are companies at the very beginning who did that. They gave seven 75 or $100. It can't be so broad, or at least they used to say that this can't be so uh, such a generous benefit that it becomes coercive, but right. now the law is coercing you. Uh, who, Who's the vaccine cop? Who's going to police this? Good question. And it has to be the employer. The employer needs to keep records. And then OSHA has the right to come in and audit your records like they would anytime there is a safety issue or a complaint. It is OSHA who will go in and check to make sure that the companies have really done it. And the company faces penalties up to $14,000 per violation. Whoa, $14,000. Yeah, big, big money. Okay, there's so much more to cover. We'll have you back. Thank you. Okay, got to take a break.